The Miami Dolphins will enter the 2021 season with several prominent young talents entering into contract years. And the Dolphins, thanks to some clarity from the NFL and the NFLPA's agreement regarding the 2022 salary cap ceiling, can rest easy knowing that their spending power for after the 2021 season will afford them plenty of wiggle room to ensure that said players can get a new contract whenever it is deemed appropriate. But with the 2021 season left to be played and money left to be earned, the Dolphins are well within their rights to play this strategically. The team must decipher whether or not any of their upcoming free agents deserve to get locked in ahead of time, not an easy decision for any general manager given the risk of negotiations going sour and hard feelings being developed. Miami has three returning starters who are considered notable free agents, plus one more big money free agent signing who joined the team this offseason on a one-year deal, W.R. Will Fuller v. new to the team. L.B. Jerome Baker, Tay Mike Jasicki, De Emmanuel Ogba, two free agent additions and two draft choices from the 2018 NFL Draft's second day. Jasicki was the team's second round draft choice, whereas Baker was the team's pick in the third round. If Miami could only give one extension out ahead of the end of the 2021 season, which of these four is most deserving of the honor? Baker and Jasicki have a leg up as long-standing members of the team and being players who were drafted and developed by the Dolphins. That sweat equity can and should be rewarded by the team, particularly when the focus is drafting and developing talent to help build a long-term winner in South Florida. For a long time, the Dolphins served as an effective farm system for other teams. That trend needs to end. Suffer as brilliant as Emmanuel Ogba was in the middle of last season on his way to leading the team in sacks and for as dynamic as Fuller V is capable of being, if the team could only give out one extension you'd have a hard time choosing a free agent addition versus one of the young draft choices from 2018. Jasicki arguably has the better resume out of the two, he's accounted for 1,273 receiving yards and 11 scores over the last two seasons and he's also made a strong push for a leadership role this offseason. Dolphins quarterbacks had a 97.3 rating when targeting him in 2020, a career high. His development from his rookie season to 2020 has been tremendous. But then again, the Dolphins also drafted Hunter Long in the third round of the 2021 NFL Draft despite having other, more pressing needs at hand. Could that be an omen for Jasicki's future? When you compare the depth at that position and the team's drafting tendencies versus what you've seen from the team at linebacker, where Baker is entering into a contract year, it would seem as though he's more aligned to actually see a contract. Baker's big step forward came this past season, in which he logged 112 total tackles, 7.0 sacks, 11 QB hits, 2 forced fumbles, 86.2 passer rating allowed in coverage, 349 yards in coverage. Baker had more tackles in 2019, but his was less impactful and more challenged on passing downs. With him making such a big leap forward and being in favor with the Dolphins coaching staff as a leader and playmaker, Baker feels like the strongest choice for an extension if the Dolphins opt to only hand out one this summer to a pending free agent. Jasicki certainly wouldn't shock and Emmanuel Ogba has a fair chance, too. But Baker's resume seems to check the most boxes.